Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to learn and write 5th class Mass Magic Workbook Semester 3 Chapter Time. Worksheet number 1 Subtopic AM and PM. Here we have to know AM and PM. AM means before 12 noon, it means from midnight 12 to before 12 noon. PM means after 12 noon. It means from 12 noon to midnight 12. Abbreviation of AM and PM. AM means anti-meridian. PM means post-meridian. Here given a table. Starting time, ending time and we have to find duration. Here starting time is 3 AM. Ending time is 11 AM. So here 11 minus 3 hours that equal to 8 hours we get 8 hours duration is 8 hours next to 10 am 4 pm here we have to convert 4 pm as 4 plus 12 that equal to 16 hours with 12 hours clock the pm is formed by adding 12 hours then we will get 24 hours time. So here duration is 16 hours minus 10 am. That equal to 6 hours. So here we get duration 6 hours. Next starting time is 10 hours 40 minutes in the morning. And duration is 3 hours 45 minutes. So here we should add 3 hours 45 minutes to 10 hours 40 minutes. So we get 10 hours 40 and 3 hours 45 minutes. We get here we add first of all minutes from minutes we get 85 minutes. So in this 85 minutes. 60 plus 25 minutes. 60 minutes equal to 1 hour plus 25 minutes. 1 hour carry forwards to hours place and 25 minutes write in minutes place. Then add hours 10 plus 3 plus 1 we get 14 hours. Here 14 hours 25 minutes convert into 12 hours format. So we have to subtract 12 hours 14 hours 25 minutes then we get 2 hours 25 pm so here 2 hours 25 pm next starting time is 5 pm duration is 7 hours 20 minutes here also we have to convert 5 pm into 24 hours time so we add 5 p.m. plus we add 5 hours plus 12 hours. We get 17 hours. Here we have to add duration that equal to 7 hours 20 minutes. So we get 24 hours 20 minutes. So here ending time is 24 hours 20 minutes. That means midnight 12 20 minutes. Next, filling the blanks. A dash months 1 year. 12 months equal to 1 year. Next, B 60 minutes equal to 1 hour. C dash minutes equal to 60 seconds. 1 minute equal to 60 seconds. D 7 days equal to 1 week. Next question. Draw the hour and minute hands on the clock to the represented time. Here, 11 hours so we can draw short hand at 11 hours and long hand at 12 hours and here 4 hours 30 minutes we can draw short hand between 4 and 5 and long hand at 6 longest hand is at 12 next to 1 hour we can draw 
hours hand at 1 and minutes hand at 12. Next to 7 hours 45 minutes. Here we can draw. Hours hand is between 7 and 8. And long minutes hand is at 9. So this is 7 hours 45 minutes. Next to convert the 12 hours time into 24 hours time. Yeah, 11 25 a.m. Here we should not convert into 24 hours time because midnight 12 to before 12 is same in both 12 hours and 24 hours format. So 11 25 a.m. equal to 11 25. 9 a.m. equal to 9 hours. Here 11 25 p.m. 11 25. Here we should add 12 hours to convert into 24 hours format. Then we get 23 hours 25 minutes. Next 9.45 pm. Here also we should add 12 hours to 9.45. That equal to 21 hours 45 minutes. Next to convert the 24 hours time into 12 hours time. Here 13.50. When we convert 24 hours time into 12 hours time, we should subtract 12 hours to the given pm only, not am. So here 13.50 minus 12 hours. That equal to 1 hour 50 minutes next to be here so this is not pm so we can write as it is 9 25 minutes next to see 3 15 here also 3 hours 15 minutes here 20 hours 27 minutes here we subtract 20 hours 27 minus 12 hours that equal to 8 hours 27 minutes. Next worksheet number 2, subtopic AM and PM. First question, a bus left from Avanigadda at 7.40 AM. If it took 2 hours 20 minutes to reach Vijayawada, at what time does it reach Vijayawada? A bus leave from Avanigadda at that equal to 7.40 AM. Time of travel to reach Vijayawada, that equal to 2 hours 20 minutes. The bus reached Vijayawada, that equal to 8 hours 40 minutes. Plus 2 hours 20 minutes. We get exactly 10 hours. That means 10 a.m. Next question. Bindu started her homework at 7 p.m. She finished it by 8.45 p.m. How much time did she take to complete the homework? Bindu starts her homework at 7 p.m. She finished her work at 8.45 p.m. Time of taken to complete her homework that equal to 1 hour 45 minutes. Next question, Sarla spent 5 hours 45 minutes on first day and 6 hours 15 minutes on second day to paint a wall. How much time did she spend 
in two days. Duration of paint on first day that equal to five hours forty five minutes. Duration of paint on second day that equal to six hours fifteen minutes. Duration of paint on both days that equal to we have to add five hours forty five minutes and six hours fifteen minutes. First of all, we we add minutes. So forty five plus fifteen that equal to sixty minutes. We know that sixty minutes equal to one hour. So one hour carry forward to hours place. So minutes place is we can write zero in minutes place. Here add five plus six plus one we get two hours. Duration of paint on both days equal to two hours. Next question: The school football game ended at five thirty p.m. If the play time was ninety minutes, at what time did the game started? Football game ended time is five thirty p.m. Game played for ninety minutes. So ninety that equal to sixty minutes plus thirty minutes. Sixty minutes equal to one hour plus thirty minutes. School football game started time is ended time that equal to five hours thirty minutes. Playing time that equal to ninety minutes. That equal to one hour. Thirty minutes. So we will get five hours thirty minutes minus one hour thirty minutes. We will get four hours. So that equal to four p.m. School football game started time is at four p.m. Okay, children. We will continue. other topic with another video until then bye thank you